ninth race weekend of the 2008 DTM season. The touring car stars are racing in Barcelona. And one of them is catching the attention of the media, one who otherwise is rather in the shadow of the title candidates. Matthias Lauda, son of the legendary Formula One driver Niki Lauda, who has been racing in the DTM for three years. For the 27-year-old, it's a very special race. After all, the Austrian has been living in the Spanish city since 1996. All my friends are coming, it's also the track that I know best. It all started off on Wednesday already with the press conference that included a very special highlight being driven through the streets of Barcelona in a double-decker bus. Not as fast as usual, but still having a lot of fun. Audi ace Martin Tomczyk, Mercedes-Benz title hope Paul Di Resta and Matthias Lauda. And Lauda didn't want to miss out on the opportunity to show his colleagues his city. Barcelona is like home for me. I've been living here for over 12 years. I went to school here and have lived my entire youth in Barcelona. I have many friends here and I'm living here together with my brother. I'm Austrian, but it feels like home to me. Lauda is enjoying the time between the races. He feels well at the harbor. He loves the Spanish way of life. Here he can prepare for a race in a perfect way. I always try to get up between 8 and 9. Sometimes I can, sometimes I can't. I'm doing a lot of sports, 3 to 4 hours each day, especially a lot of endurance sports and power training. I have a bite in between and respond to my emails. There is always something to do. His career in motorsport started very late and it wasn't really planned either. After all, without the support of his well-known father, it took quite a while for him to be battling for fastest lap times at the racetrack. It wasn't planned for me like it is for most of the other drivers. They start racing go-karts at an early age with the support of their parents. My father was always against it. However, motorsports always fascinated me. My father kept telling me that it was not for me. Finish your school, study, get a proper job. But after school, my brother and I sat together and I said that I would like to do a test at a circuit in order to find out whether I have talent. My brother organized a test for me and that is how it all started. It quickly becomes clear that talent can be inherited. His learning curve is steep. Within four years he made it into the GP2 and one year later he was already racing for championship points in the DTM. For Lauda, however, that isn't enough. Who's becoming established in the DTM, improving over the years and if possible also getting a new car, that would be a dream for me. And then fight for the title and victories one day. That is my goal in the DTM and when I wouldn't have these goals, this would be the wrong place for me to be. His father is his harshest critic. Lauda tries to give his best. That is not always easy. After all, his father's expectations are high. The man with the starting number eight is not affected by the pressure from his father. He's very critical. Then I have to explain what went wrong and he asks me why I'm not in control of the car. When I tell him it's understeering, he says, you have to fix it. You have three hours of free practice on Friday. There is no excuse for not getting the car to work. Nevertheless, the two have a very close relationship. We have a very good relationship. I consider him a second brother or a good friend. We can talk about everything. He has a good sense of humor and we have a lot of fun. Matthias Lauda, DTM driver, who is stepping more and more out of the shadow of his opponents. Now the only thing he needs to do is convincing his famous father, the three times world champion.